What is your point of order, Senator Chirenge? Mr. Speaker, sir, I rise first one to speak as rules number five on the dressing of senators uh, in the House, Mr. Speaker. You know everything is evolving. Mr. Speaker, if you see the trouser that has been worn by our champion against uh, administration uh, in the country, our beloved senator, Senator Gloria Onwoba, the speaker, sir, she has worn a trouser similar that when some of us go and unwind down on Fridays, we see the DJ is wearing, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> so I don't know whether it is in order, Mr. Speaker, because it looks like a leather, it looks like jeans, it looks like khaki. So we need to be clear, Mr. Speaker, because tomorrow I can wear a khaki and come to the house. As a senator, I don't know whether it will be acceptable or a jeans. So, Mr. Speaker, I needed guidance, and maybe you can direct the female surgeon at arms to look, because I can see Senator Morango is looking at it keenly. So we request that uh, the female senator should, uh, should, should be the one to, to look at that, Madam Mr. Speaker. Uh, start guiding. <laughs> uh, senator Charagay, from where I sit, I cannot be able to see uh, Senator Gloria's, Gloria's uh, trousers. I, I, I want to dispense of this matter. Let me see how S Senator Gloria is dressed. Just, just walk. No, no. Have you seen Senator Grode? You are well dressed. Now, you see. No, no, you're okay. You just. Uh, so let us have the statement by. Go to your standing order 96. Then I'll be able to assist you, Senator. Then I love you, Senator Sifuna. You you go to standing order 96, where you should prosecute to a point of order, because this is a determination I was making as a chair. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, sir, I beg to lay the following papers on the table.